A few months ago, my old laptop broke down and I was faced with a choice. Either I could go back to buying Lenovo Windows laptops like I had for the past 10 years, or I could make the switch to a MacBook. Now MacBooks are really highly rated for programming and content design, so it only made sense for me to actually explore them. I did tons of research and after wrestling with the decision for countless hours and going through weeks of different laptops, I finally decided to pull the trigger and make the switch to a MacBook laptop. I've had the laptop for about six months and here's my thoughts on whether or not a Mac or Windows laptop is something that's right for you. So the first thing to note is that if you've used either OS for a long time, it will take you a minute to just get used to the Switch and understand the layout of everything. There's just so many little differences between Windows and Mac, even from things like the command buttons instead of control keys, that it just takes a while to get used to. I still actually use a Windows laptop for my day job, and I regularly find myself pressing the wrong set of keys. I'll be trying to hit command on my computer when there just isn't one, and I'm supposed to use the control button instead. So even as you do get used to this, this can still take a little bit of time. MacBooks also have a few random quirks that make me question why things were designed this way. From simple things like not being able to open multiple calculator windows, moving files between folders, and being able to screen record audio, all either inherently don't work or require some sort of weird workaround that just shouldn't be that way. These are really odd little features for a company that prides itself on user experience. All that being said though, the user experience experience is still great and the display is amazing. This liquid retina design screen is one of the best I've ever seen and it makes the work experience just extremely pleasant. Not only does this blow my old Lenovo laptops out of the park, it's even better than any TV or movie screen I've really ever seen. Additionally, despite the quirks of the Apple laptops that take a while to get used to, the usability is still relatively high. This isn't groundbreaking news, but if you've used an iPhone before, the MacBook just feels like a natural extension of everything that sits in your palm. All of your apps from texting to tweeting all exist the same on a MacBook. And it's almost a little too familiar. Apple is really going for the social integration aspect of having a MacBook laptop. And to a degree, they can almost be a little bit distracting. On the other hand, a Windows laptop just feels a lot more corporate and sterile. There's no notifications popping up and I feel much less tempted to browse the internet and go on Twitter like I do on my Mac. However, one of the deciding factors that helped me move to a MacBook is the long battery life. On my old Lenovo laptops, I could barely get through 45 minutes of work without needing to find an outlet. As somebody who travels a lot and enjoys working out of places like coffee shops or beaches, etc., this just wasn't sustainable. All the other premium Lenovo laptops that I looked at, like the X1, had just the same problem. Now the MacBook has a reported battery life of about 20 hours, and I haven't come anywhere near closest, but the fact of the matter is I am running heavy software like coding programs and video editing programs, and this drastically reduces the battery life. However, it's still long enough that I'm able to travel long distances without it really ever being a problem. I did, however, have my first MacBook moment the other day. I've always heard complaints about the fans being extremely loud, and I kind of just brushed it off. I didn't think it was a big deal. I've heard the fans on my Lenovo laptops, and I thought, how bad can it really be? I found out the hard way. The other day, I was uploading an HD video file and exporting it from my laptop, and it literally sounded like a jet engine was taking off. It was almost comical how loud this thing was. I mean, just listen to this. Despite the odd quirks though, the user experience of the MacBook has just been much more pleasant than anything I've had with my old Lenovo laptops. The social integration and all of the small features like texting and tweeting can be disrupting at times, but the reality is hidden behind all of these pretty features is a machine that's still extremely powerful. Running complex applications like VS Code and Adobe Premiere Pro has never been an issue, and I'm able to get the best out of my productive workflows without ever having to worry if my laptop can handle. See, Windows laptops are like business machines, but a MacBook is more of a lifestyle engine. Its focus on blending life and work make it very easy to integrate into your day-to-day -day operation in ways that Windows laptops don't especially if the battery doesn't even last 45 minutes. At the end of the day though, I had Windows laptops for a very long time and they're perfectly viable options for anybody who wants to use them. However, the experience of a MacBook 
is immersive and appealing in ways that completely change the way you work. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more about tech tips and how to advance your career, follow my newsletter in the links down below and subscribe to the channel for more.